Konnichiwa munchkins. And yes, I did change the style of the tech. It just needed some changes, so I decided to change it. And I like it. Hopefully you do too. Alright, so today we're gonna do this video. Obviously a Sanrio video, because I like Sanrio. Mm. I'm gonna try doing like a slightly underrated characters. But the next video of the Sanrio drawings, I will do super underrated characters. Like characters you probably didn't even know. Let's start the drawings, because I don't want to waste your time. Okay, so we're gonna start with Pachato. That's in the video, but anyways, Pachato needs more love. Like, he's so cute. Actually, I like, I love all of them. I tried giving Pachato, like, some type of, I don't know, like, some type of street fashion. Even though he's really athletic, I don't know why he, um, I gave him a street outfit. Well, it looks good on him now though, and I kind of like it. I gave him like mostly white-ish clothing, cause like he has a lot of white on his character, and yeah. And I kept his shirt with his face on it. I'm not sure what color it is. I thought it was like a hot pink or a hot red. I have no idea. I was gonna give him white shoes, but I gave him like this cherry-like color shoes. I like them. I have no idea what I did here. I question myself sometimes. I shaded it, added other stuff, and it's done. I did a really good job on the Pacheco on the shirt. I really like it. The only thing I would fix is his pose. He's just standing there doing nothing. It looks like he is so bored. But I really like um the white part of his hair. It looks really cool. Let's move on to the next character, which is... Kurobi. Kurobi, I really like him, um, yeah, I just really like his personality and I also really like frogs. I remember like in 5th grade, I had a huge frog face and I don't know why, I just randomly thought of frogs in the morning I'm like, yes, frogs are my new favorite animal. And that's how my frog obsession started. Well now, I'm kind of going through a bee phase. <laughs> I think the frog phase was much better. I changed Kuropi's pose because I thought he needed more character. Oh, and yeah, I got his little shirt thing mixed up, so I fixed it. His shirt is supposed to go, um, vertically, but I accidentally did it horizontally like Hello Kitty. Make it look like a popcorn bucket. I gave Kuropi a Teru Teru Bonsu because it looks cute. I actually made one in real life. I'll show you right now. So I shaded his thing added a little more stuff, like I always say, and it's finished. I really like this Kuropi design, and uh, I'm kind of glad I noticed his shirt was the wrong way. Otherwise, um, uh, I had to change it during editing, and then I won't have a lot of time to edit the video, which I'm doing right now. And I really like his little friend, little Teru Teru Bonzu. I'm just gonna call it Teru because it's easier to say, which means shine. If you didn't know that, you're welcome. Free Japanese lesson. Anyways, that's it for today's little drawing video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had some dumb milk pizza, so I'm in a pretty good mood right now. Bye, munchkins. Have a good day. I'm sorry. Also, I forgot to mention this, but I'm doing a Q&A, so comment some questions for me down below. Thanks.